What's happening, everybody? How you been? Where you been? What's going on with you? Well, I know I've been absent for quite some time now, and I do apologize, but I had to take some time to just kind of get Tracy together, kind of reacquaint myself with myself. <laughs> and I know it might sound a little crazy, but really, that um, whole breast cancer thing, that was, that was something. That was really something. So I've probably done about 20 videos since the last time that I've sent a video out. And um, what happens is I'll do a video and then I don't post it in time. And so then I'm like, ah, I need to change it. And I got new information. So then I just do another video. <laughs> so I promise I've done a number of videos because I think about you guys all the time. And I've had a few people that have reached out and said, hey, what's going on? You're not posting videos anymore. So it's time to get back on it and I had to come back with a whole new mission and purpose and stuff so lots going on and I'll try to be quick and update you guys in this one video but as you can see I'm back I'm okay and my hair is growing in so um, yeah it was all gray when it came back for the most part kind of salt and pepper but a lot of salt <laughs> and so I get kind of bored with styles and colors and stuff and so I'm, I've changed it to black and um, I'm content with that but like I said you know going through that experience it was very trying and there were just times that I felt lost and discombobulated you know there were times that I felt like one of those commercials that you've seen where the person is walking steadily but then everything else is going by really fast well that's how I felt my life was going and there were just things I couldn't seem to really catch up to and keep up with and all of that so I needed to take some time to just you know slow down even more and just catch my breath one of the things that I discovered during this journey is that I needed to do something different I was happy creating videos and stuff but and I still I still will create videos but I don't want that to be my sole purpose what happened was I was watching this presentation there's a young lady that put out this free 10-day course on how to do better marketing and stuff and she sends you the the emails you know she's got the email campaign set up and you got the email with a ton of things to do and then if you do this you click here it takes you there and then if you go to your messenger on Facebook she's got a live video so she says hey I'm live you can watch right now click here if you want to watch later click here if you want to unsubscribe click here so she had all of these things going and again, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> so I, at that moment, really it was in those moments of watching this young lady operate where I decided she must have a team. And I don't have a team. And I'm tired of being Team Tracy, the one that is the business, finds the business, works with people to see if I can, you know, help them out with their budget and stuff, um, you know, create the product. I just kind of got tired and I decided I'm over it. <laughs> so I um, also understood the power of insurance. And years ago, I used to sell insurance, barely. But years ago, I got into the insurance ind industry and I just kept saying, this isn't for me. I don't, I don't understand it. I don't like it. I don't want to do it. And so I said, I ain't doing it no more. But like Jonah and the well, Jonah was sent to do something and he was like, mm -mm, I ain't doing that. And when he got swallowed up and he got spat out, he was like, oh, let me go, go let, me, let me go handle that. And so what happened for me was uh, last week, I was able to close the chapter to my last infusion. So I'm done with all my breast cancer treatments. I don't know when I'm gonna get this port taken out, but I'm done with all those treatments, yay! And then I was able to open the door to life insurance. I found this awesome company and um, I got interviewed and they say, why should we hire you? I said, cause I'm awesome. They said, that's the right answer. Um, took the exam, the life, life insurance exam and I passed. So last Friday, last week was just awesome. So this past week, I started training so this Saturday this is Saturday and I'm going to post this video tonight okay but <laughs> um, this uh, this past week I was in my first week of training and so this upcoming week I still have another week of training 
and then I'll be able to start getting out there and helping people. And I love what they have to offer because they're much more lenient than a lot of um, a lot of companies and stuff. And I didn't think that I'd ever be insured again, having gone through cancer, um, diabetes, high blood pressure. You know, all of that stuff hit me all within the past year and a half. All right, but this company will be able to help me. But one of the things that really kind of confirmed that I was on the right path was when I went to a friend's barbecue last weekend and I met another cancer survivor. She's finishing up her last infusion and we were talking and I said, yeah, I'm ready to get into it. life insurance and this and that. And she was saying how she had bought a policy some years ago that had a, 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 a an extra benefit for cancer. And she was thinking, I probably will never use this. She had one person in her family that had ovarian cancer. So she was like, oh, Oh, I guess I better get it just in case. But she really didn't think that she was going to use it. And she was planning on canceling it, um, I guess, in another couple of years. But she got diagnosed with cancer, breast cancer. And this benefit paid her $2,000 a month. So for me, I look at that and I'm like, my goodness, that would have made such a tremendous difference for me so that I didn't have to go begging and crying and whining about my bills and stuff because I wasn't able to get any income. State didn't pay me because I didn't have a job and so I couldn't get um, state disability. I couldn't get social security because they like to deny you. They play this game of let's deny the person three or four times that has cancer or whatever it is. So I wasn't able to get anything. So I had to survive off of the donations that people sent, um, my, my kids, you know, just a few folks really came through and supported. And so I'm grateful, but you know, a lot of balls dropped, okay? I'm fortunate to still have a roof over my head, but my car definitely got taken. And I just had to continually fight and it was stressful. So if I would have had the type of insurance set up that would allow me to receive some benefits while I'm still alive, man, that would have made all the difference in the world. Cause I'm telling you, I did not like what I had to go through. But again, we go through things for a reason. So here I am still alive and looking at life a little bit differently with a different purpose. And I'm grateful. So, um, but I still will be able to create videos and stuff like that. But I, I just had to get myself back together because, you know, I'm still dealing with physical um, situations from going through the treatments and the mental stuff. I, at least I feel like I'm coming back to my mental, my good mental state of mind. But, you know, things were kind of foggy for a while and just strange. And so I feel a lot better now. Today is... A day where I'm still I'm, I'm just kind of I don't know kind of a little bit on the melancholy side it's a gorgeous day out um, and I've been out I did laundry and I've gone a number of places today already but it's still just one of those days you know I hear the Monica song playing in my head right now just one of those days <laughs> but I will cut here and let you guys free so that you can enjoy the rest of your day, whatever it is that you're doing. But I thank you for tuning in. Thank you for sticking with me and continue to follow me so that I can share with you how things are going with this because I am committed. I am going to do this, okay? And uh, life is going to get better. So for all of you that have stood by me, thank you so much. For anyone that I've let down during this time frame, I apologize, but still love you. And uh, that's it, guys. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.